Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 3 Blue version. In the last episode we found out Net Battler Q was really Sunayama and he's a W3 operator so we are now and uh, he called Shaw to the editing room so that's where we're going to go and figure out what's going on here. This whole N1 Grand Prix thing was just the W3 was using it to pretty much show off that they are undefeatable but uh, that's not where we're supposed to go. Uh, and as you can see the producer of the N1, the guy that was standing here in the editing room, he had the shape of Wily's uh, hair so... Mm, uh, it's pretty obvious that that was him. Anyway, we gotta go to the editing room on the second floor. Uh, we don't know if Shod can actually defeat Desert Man. And, uh, what's his face? Um, what's his name? Door's open. Wanna go up? Yeah. Uh, Sunayama. So, let's go check it out. Make sure they're all right. And what's going on? Oh my god, he's got his dad. Is that his dad? Oh my god. Shod. Shod, the distinguished son of the president of IPC Inc., the foremost net battler in all of Electopia. Oh no, I guess that guy up there, the producer, was um, Shod's dad, because he's the owner of IPC Inc. Okay. The foremost net battler in all of Electopia, operator of Proto Man, and have you customized to your own specifications. Expert, custom, expert operator, master customizer. With you out of the way, our work will be much easier. So it's a net battle you want. Oh no, no. It is your pet that I am after. How about I trade your pet for your father? You give me your pet, and I'll let your father go. You coward! In this profession, ratings and quality footage are everything. Now then, I'll give you a moment to decide. Shod, please hand him the pet. <sighs> so he's gonna give up Proto Man forever? Proto Man's the most awesome Navi ever, and he's gonna give him up just to save his father. So Shod's the heir to the IPC Inc. fortune. What am I saying? This isn't the time for that. We've got to figure out a way to help Shod's dad. If we could just distract Sunayama for a second. Are we carrying anything that might do the trick? I have an idea. Mega Man, how about we... I guess we've got no choice. This is an emergency, but we can't afford to miss. Trust me. Okay, we've got something planned here. Hopefully it works. Can't afford to miss. Time's up. Have you said your goodbyes to Proto Man? Now then, hand over your pet, please. I'm sorry, Proto Man. Viewers around the world watching through the hidden cameras, observe Electopia's ace and battler. Surrender to the W3. Shot is now handing his pet over to... Now! Mega Man attack! Oh my god, and we threw our pet right at Sunyama's face. Shot, quick, get your dad. Okay. Oh my god, right in the head. Shot, take your dad to a safe place. Hurry, get out of here. Oh, that was awesome. Sunayama, now you have to face me. No! You, so you're the one who hit me in the head with that filthy pet? I'll just cut and edit that last part. Wait, this is a live broadcast. Oh, I can't edit it. You've ruined my entire plan. I'm going to squash you. Desert Man, delete this brat. We'll see who's going to get squashed. Mega Man, battle routine set. Execute! Alright, and this is it. The battle with Desert Man, Sunayama's Navi, and a W3 operator. So, this guy's got to be stopped. Now, this battle is definitely interesting. He's kind of like King Man in the fact that he's got these minions here. Uh, his hands, but his hands can actually be destroyed, unlike King Man. And he's got those Mirage platforms back there. Um, so I'll just explain this battle as you go. Pretty much, Desert Man's going to stay in the back row there, just like King Man. Um, if you stay in line with the hands, they will shoot at you like dragons like that. So you pretty much got to stay out of the way. And also, um, little um, sand holes will appear like that as well. So you got to watch out for those. And pretty much just aim for um, Desert Man. And when you hit him, he will disappear and reappear in a new location. You can also destroy his Mirage patterns, or his Mirage things that kind of protect him. Those are just there for that purpose. Alright, so now we're going to use Guts Man. We're actually going to go to the front here as to not crack any of our panels. And you can actually destroy the hands too by attacking them. So this attack should destroy everything except Desert Man. And of course his Mirage is... Um, reappear. Now also you can't stand in one spot for too long either because the hands will uh, drop, will turn into blocks and drop from above your head onto you so watch out for that as well. Alright, we got, you can't waste too much chips here either because this guy also has 800 HP. So we're going to use dash. A lot of the same chips work here as in um, the same chips work here as King Man's battle. Uh, looks like we're going to have to waste some chips here though because we can't, okay, we finally destroyed that block. Just to get an air shot on him. Whoop-dee-doo. Alright, so we're going to use roll here, plus 10. 
Hopefully he amp. He's hiding behind a mirage, so the only way we're gonna get that to disappear is with our fire thing. So we want to try to get him not behind a mirage. Otherwise, if he's behind a mirage, we can't use roll. Okay, that's perfect. Now we just got to get that hand to disappear. And as you saw there, the hand is going to destroy or er, turning into a block to hit me from above. So we're just going to move out of the way. And we've got another roll. Sweet. So just in case he's behind a mirage, yeah. So in this battle, you've got a lot of enemies to look out for. you got to look out for his hands, and you got to look out for um, the sand pits and the rocks falling from above and his mirages blocking him. And then also the sand pits. Uh, it's definitely... You can start taking a lot of damage um, if you don't, you know, watch out. But if you really start getting hit a lot, just try and destroy the hands. Give yourself some breathing room. You know, stuff like that. Anyway, let's use dash attack here since that goes through all enemies to hit him. And he's only got 80 HP left, so we're good. Um, if you destroy the hands, that will definitely help you focus on hitting him. So, all right, was that a sonic wave? Yes, okay, so this should kill him right here. And boom, he's done. Now, we did that pretty fast. Did we get a reward for this? Okay. A minute 13 is pretty fast, but that's still only busting level 2. But we get 2,500 zenny, so... This isn't happening! Desert Man has been deleted? Give it up, Sunayama, you're finished! Ugh! Lord Wily was quite upset with the Bubble Man incident. I can't let them catch me here. There's nowhere for you to run. Oh, Lord Wily. Wily? Now's my chance! Oh, he's trying to escape that bastard. Uh-oh. No, not you! Where do you think you're going? I can't believe you pulled a Bubble Man on me! We have you now! There's no escape. This building's surrounded. I hereby arrest you under the rights bestowed upon me as an official. Hehe. <laughs> so this is how it ends, huh? The bad guy gets caught in the end. Say, can I ask one simple request? What is it? When the ratings come out for this N1 Grand Prix, can you tell me? I don't think I can watch TV in jail. Hmm. <laughs> sure. Shard reporting. I've apprehended the suspect. Take him in. I wouldn't even give him that, dude. Fuck that. He was an asshole. Lad. So the N1 Grand Prix was cancelled. If this hadn't happened, we could have faced each other in the finals. Hm. I'll settle scores with you someday. Someday. Man, that was epic. Who'd have thought the W3 was involved with the N1 Grand Prix? I wonder what they're plotting next. I don't know, but I've got a bad feeling. I'm still worried about what that W3 operator mentioned during that school burglary. A major catastrophe. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's call it a day. I've got to rest my weary frame. Oh yeah, you've been battling all day long. We should also drop by the hospital and visit Yai. Okay, so with that, I guess that's a kind of a chapter complete kind of thing here, since we defeated Desert Man. Ugh, that's that good for nothing, Sunayama. Bah, no matter. I've already had two of the Tetra Codes. Once I get a hold of the remaining two, I'll be able to resurrect the beast. Uh oh, so apparently there's four Tetra Codes, this guy has two. If he gets the other two, he'll resurrect some kind of beast. That's not good. Then I'll be able to delete all traces of the net society. ha 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 Who's this chick? Laughing by yourself again? You're growing kooky, old man. Old man? You were referred to me as Lord Wily. Youngins these days have no respect. So, where did you go today? I put a stop to three filthy factories polluting our air. Very good, my dear. These steady operations will help save our planet's environment. If we don't delete the net society, Mother Nature will perish. So this guy, it's, his motives are kind of, you know, justified. I mean, they're not justified, but they are, they're good motives. He wants um, Mother Nature to, you know, s flourish. And I guess the net is, you know, more technologically advanced and kind of deteriorating the planet, kind of like factories. So, uh, but it doesn't justify all this that he's doing because by destroying the net society, he will kill lots of, you know, navvies and whatnot, which are people's friends, you know? We can't let it happen. I'll do anything to protect our environment or my name is in Aneta. So, where should I hit next? Your next target is... What? What good will hitting there do? That building holds a piece of data called a Tetra Code. We must acquire the Tetra Code to preserve nature. All you need to do is deliver it to me. So you only need me to steal it and bring it to you? No problem. You're a good girl. Just keep doing as I say. If you follow my orders, we can save this planet. Now, off with you, Veneta. Go get that Tetra Code. Okay, so apparently there's a Tetra Code being held at some undisclosed location. Due to W3's involvement in the Grand 1 Grand Prix, the officials canceled the N1 Finals and opened an investigation. One week has passed since the investigation began. So, one week pretty much passed in real time. It's been a week now and yeah, I still isn't back. Hey, you're right, we should go cheer her up. 
Yeah, let's go. Or yeah, let's go, let's go. Now that that's settled, what are we waiting for? Come on. She was at the hospital right by Beach Street, right? Yeah, I think she was at the Seaside Hospital at the far end of Beach Street. Okay, guys, let's get going. All right, last one there is a rotten egg. Lan, just where do you think you're going? You're assigned to after-school cleaning duty today. Oh man, I totally forgot. You can't remember anything, Lan. We'll just have to go after we finish cleaning. Yeah, I guess, huh? I gotta get with it. Sorry, guys, go ahead without me. I'll catch up with you later at the hospital. Huh, <sighs> what a loser. Hurry up and finish. Have fun cleaning, tee-hee. <sighs> finished at last. Great job, Lan. Come on, let's go visit Yai. All right. So that's pretty much just a little distraction so you have to travel there yourself without Dex and uh, Mile. All right, so we've got mail. Let's check it real quick. Mail news. Killer plant from ACDC Mail. Okay. Three chemical plants in Den City were covered in vines last night, completely shutting down all functions. Still no word on how the plants could have grown so fast, but it is thought that the chemical waste could be the cause. Huh. So apparently a killer plant with vines is sprouting all over something electrical and destroying it. Interesting. Anyways, more on that later. I guess we're just going to have to head to the hospital now like we uh, planned to do earlier. Oh, anyways, but... Mm, so to do that, we're going to have to go to Beach Street, and we're going to go to a new area of Beach Street we actually haven't got to go to yet because it's been blocked off, and that is the Seaside Hospital. But the last few episodes were kind of long, so I think I'm going to cut it short right here and end the episode here. And in the next episode, we will head over there and start pretty much a whole new chapter and see what's going on at the hospital. So I'll do that next time. See you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye, everybody.